What's up you guys, Chase of Dark Sage here and I'm back with another video, but this video isn't me going over any type of collectible or I guess anything I usually do nerd wise. This is actually a video going over my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. Yes, that's right. August 10th, 2019 was the day I started back consistently making YouTube videos. Now, right now today's day I believe is like uh, August 12th as I'm recording this, but I just wanted to make a video saying, I, I really want to thank y'all because without y'all, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, obviously, because it took 3000 of y'all to subscribe to me to get to 3000, obviously. But I like to say thank you guys for actually just sticking around for all those people that stuck around before 1000, because that's when the real crazy jump happened before 1000, when I was in my closet doing those videos with no lighting on my iPhone, which I, I mean, I'm still doing videos on my iPhone, but with no type of good lighting or things like that, no good mic quality, things like that. I like to say thank you guys for sticking through. I like to thank all you other 2,000 people for coming through to the channel, enjoying the channel, interacting with me, supporting the boy, liking the videos, commenting, sharing the videos. You guys don't understand how much that helps the channel and how much that means to me because that means you guys support me or at least support what I do on this channel, which does matter because things like this could become a career for someone like me because if you guys didn't know, Obviously, I do YouTube videos, and as you've probably progressed with me, if you were before 1,000 subscribers, I am monetized on YouTube, and you can make YouTube a career, and obviously, I get paid off YouTube through ads and stuff like that. I can't go into the specifics because I don't really make that much money for me to really get specific like that, but I like to say thank y'all. It's just crazy because I started off with 53 videos on this channel before August 10th, 2019, which means I made over... 200 videos as of right now while i'm looking at my channel it says i have 3.17k subscribers and 256 videos i made 53 videos before that that means from august 10th to august 12th as of right now i have 256 videos in total and that's not even the videos that i don't have queued up i have plenty of videos queued up i even have more videos that i'm still needing to shoot as of right now but i like to say thank you guys I just wanted to go over some quick things for the channel, or I just wanted to talk to you guys too of the history, I guess, because like I said, just so much has happened from getting monetized in February to having 3,000 now because I hit 1,000 in February or late January. A lot of things have been happening. So I want to tell you the timeline of how I got to where I am and I guess basically more newer things, updates for the channel and five tips I have for some of you that want to be content creators because a lot of y'all do message me on Instagram saying that y'all want to do YouTube videos, but y'all are scared or y'all want to do YouTube videos, but y'all don't think y'all are going to make it, which basically means like you're scared too. But let's go ahead and go over some things, I guess. So if you guys haven't gone deep into my channel, I actually started off as a skit based channel. I used to do like a whole bunch of skits on my channel because I wanted to be a skit content creator back when Vine was popular, back when Instagram 15 second videos were popular. I used to do a whole bunch of those type of videos and obviously it wasn't working for me. It wasn't the thing for me. So obviously I moved on because it wasn't going anywhere with me. Yeah, a lot of people locally knew me and a lot of people that already knew me like knew of my videos, but it wasn't really helping me grow in any type of way, especially since I put them on Instagram and I put them on YouTube. Hopefully I can put like a little link up above my head where it shows like me doing skits or whatever. Now let's fast forward to 2015 when I actually started collecting Funko Pops. It was towards the end of 2015 in December. 2016 was, I believe, when I made my first Funko Pop video. Uh, Funko Pop, they really weren't that popular at the time. Like I never knew anyone that knew of Funko Pops. I actually learned of Funko Pops from someone because they only had a Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku one. And at the time, that's when Dragon Ball Z only had one wave. Yeah, that's crazy. All the variants and all the waves and all the pops it has in that line. Yeah, only one wave. But I saw that and it made me think, I'm like, man, if I can see that one day, then I'll get it. Then one day when the game stopped, bought it, boom. That's when I started collecting in 2015. But in 2016 is when I first made my video because I used to see like I used to see these things. I was like, no one really makes videos on these, or no one really makes videos of the stuff that I would like to see or the type of stuff that I would like to talk about and collect. So I made YouTube videos, obviously, as someone would, and it was all right. I mean, it was fun, but after a while, I'm like, eh, I'm kind of tired because I was working full time during the summer, and I was making videos too, and I was like on summer from college. I was a sophomore in college too, by the way, but. After that, I was like, eh, it's not really going anywhere for me. I actually came back a few years later after that, and I saw that some of my videos hit over a thousand views, which is crazy. I didn't really gain the subscribers from it, but it's crazy to see that some of my older videos hit over a thousand views. I even think I have a review of me doing an inbox review of uh, Metallic Beers when it first came out from SDCC, and I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. People actually watch the inbox review, which is crazy, but let's go ahead and fast forward to 2019. 
And this is when one of my homies, Ray, he made a bet with me because at the time, at this time, I was doing the podcast. Uh, not about collectibles or anything, just more about pop culture, music, and stuff like that. And he downed the podcast all the time. And guys, if someone downed you all the time, don't listen to them. Keep doing what you're doing, especially if you like it. But he downed the podcast all the time. And he said that you need to make this YouTube thing work. And if you don't do this, you need to do YouTube. I was like, and I took him up on, took him up on his bet. So when we got to the, uh, when we moved to our new crib, because we became roommates, when we moved to our new crib, I took him up on the bed and I told him, when we moved to the new crib, I'm going to start doing videos on Pops again. And that's when I started doing Pop videos again. And obviously, it just it just shot up from there because I did a Dragon Ball Z video, Dragon Ball Z collection video, and it just grew my channel like crazy. Especially since I had all of them and I had our Leah. Like, it's really rare for you to see someone that has our Leah and really like speak about Pops and stuff like that in general. But that's how that happens. I grew from August then to February. I hit a thousand subscribers. I really like to say thank you to the people that interact with me, not just on YouTube, but on Instagram as well. All people that message me and things like that. I like to say thank you guys. People like Vasto will support me early. Fets. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people that obviously I'm not going to be able to name. These are people that I talk to on a daily basis that was really messing with me before I had a thousand subscribers and like reached out to me and things like that. I know my boy Weird Flex was there too as well um there's a like i said there's a whole bunch of people that i really can't name but i like to say i really appreciate all of you guys now that's basically how i got to i guess collecting and doing youtube like from august 10th to now i guess i don't know because right now i'm shooting this video obviously like in what august 12th like i said before and it's just been a really weird journey that i've been through a really fun journey and a grateful journey that i'm grateful for but I want to go over five tips for becoming a YouTuber because a lot of you guys message me on Instagram asking me, what tips do you give? What do you advise for someone that wants to start YouTube and things like that? And my first piece of advice for starting YouTube, this is a part of the tips, but my first piece of advice for starting a YouTube, do it. Where are you going to go? Like, if you don't do it, like you start right here. If you don't do YouTube, then you're going to stay right there. And if you do do YouTube and you don't go anywhere, you're just going to be right there. That's the harsh truth of everything, but let's be real. If you don't make it off of YouTube, it's not like you're going to go down in a hole from something. You're going to still collect these figures that you wanted. Might as well just put it on YouTube if you want to. But this is my thing that I like to say. YouTube is not meant for everybody. Content creation is not meant for everybody. Now, you either need to have a talent or you need to be consistent. It's one of the two. You, have to, you either have to be very entertaining or you have to be very consistent. There, If you lack in both, you're not going to survive on YouTube. I'm not going to lie to you. But that brings me to my five tips for becoming a YouTuber or, you know, trying to grow your YouTube channel, I guess. First comment, I mean, first tip I have is comment back to your comments. Like, actually engage with the people because if you do engage with people, they're going to want to come back. Plus, you can make relationships that you never know you would have had before this. And obviously, let's be real. A lot of us make these videos to connect to a bigger audience or to connect to a bigger community of people or make a community even, which brings me to the next point. Uh... Join the Discord. But this brings me to a point of you being able to meet and talk to other collectors that you never would have talked to, to or never would have knew of if you wouldn't have done this type of thing. I'd say comment back to your comments because you never know who is who and you never know who might become your new best friend online. You know what I'm saying? Next tip. Take YouTube SEO into consideration. Now, YouTube SEO is the search engine op optimization, basically. And this is basically what gets your videos found because this is for people, like I said, who want to become upcoming YouTubers. And if you want your videos to be found, take into consideration that YouTube search engine optimiz optimization or YouTube SEO, which obviously y'all need to super pay attention to because let's be real, my video can get more views than a person who has more subscribers than me only because my YouTube search op engine optimization is better than theirs, meaning my video pops up first when you search a certain tag or something like that. So that's something to take into consideration. I'm sweating a lot because of all this knowledge that I'm dropping on y'all. Y'all better pick these gems up that I'm dropping. But also, have a dope thumbnail. I hate when I see horrible and ugly thumbnails. Oh my God. I'm, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be real with y'all. If I see an ugly and horrible thumbnail, I'm not gonna watch the video. That's the first barrier to entry. Like, if you don't have a good looking thumbnail, I'm not gonna enter the video because I think you don't take your thumbnail as seriously as you do the video. I mean, if you don't take your thumbnail as seriously, then you're not taking the video as seriously. Now, you could have dope content, but make the thumbnail fire. Make the thumbnail funny. Make the thumbnail look good. Make it look appealing. Like, be real. If you weren't you, and you were someone else, look at your thumbnail and think to yourself, when I watch this video, probably no if you think like that change the thumbnail up which brings me to my fourth topic well it doesn't bring me to my fourth topic i'm bringing myself to my fourth topic be consistent guys i hate when people want to make one video a month 
drop off the face of the earth. They want to make a video the next month. Like, okay, I understand. Life comes through. But don't expect to have growth or anything or want to be big on YouTube if you have all these problems in life or all these things in life that stop you from being YouTube. Don't make YouTube videos. I'm not saying if you just want to do YouTube for fun, yeah, upload when you want. I don't care. But if you want to be an upcoming YouTuber, you want to grow, you want to be big, be consistent because people like me, I like to watch people who are consistent. People that upload at least once a week, twice a week, or even daily, god dang it. I try to upload daily, but I can't keep up with that type of schedule with working full-time and being in school. I know it's possible, but I, I can't do it. But be consistent, guys, especially if you want to grow in YouTube. Be consistent with your uploads. Be consistent with how much you upload. And be consistent with the content as well. Because honestly, I don't want to watch someone doing Let's Plays. Then the next day, I want to see them doing a figure review. That's That's... I mean, that's not the type of channels I like. The only type of channel I like doing that is probably like Rhyme Style. But Rhyme Style's been doing this for I don't know how long. So he could do that. But if you're going to do stuff like that, you got to win people up based off your personality, not just the content itself. Because you have to be a really strong driving force with your personality. And this brings me to my fifth uh, topic or fifth piece of advice. Make great content, a.k.a. be genuine, fun, and serve a purpose. Now, let's be real. Ask, one, ask yourself when you get done doing a video, am I genuine in this video? If so, check it off. Are you having fun making the video or is the video fun? If so, check it off. And does the video serve a purpose? Meaning, does it entertain or does it inform? Now, guys, if it doesn't ent entertain and if it doesn't inform, don't do the video or don't expect people to really like the video like that. I'm not being cocky or anything, but let's be real. You're going to have to make dope content in order for people to want to come back. Be Think about the people that you watch on YouTube. They either have dope content or they're very entertaining or they're serving, you know, they're giving you information. A lot of people that you watch that might be your friends, you like them because they are entertaining. Therefore, you're going to like them, obviously. But if you're not entertaining or you don't serve a purpose, I would not, I would not advise you to do YouTube because it just ain't for you. YouTube isn't for everybody. I like to tell people that all the time. If you're too shy... Yeah, you're going to break out of your shyness if you talk in front of a camera the whole time. I talk in front of a camera every single day. You don't think my neighbors or anybody else think I'm weird or something like that. But that's the only tips that I have for y'all, honestly. And I know a lot of people like to ask how to grow your channel and stuff like that. That's the stuff that you need to grow your channel. Just be a great content creator. Taking your search engine optimization into consideration. Have a great looking thumbnail. Don't let it be bland. Don't let it be boring. Because honestly, I wouldn't click on a bland or boring one. Unless you're the only video that goes over that topic, which is going to be rare. And coming back to your comments, you know, grow a community or something. Like, have some dumb people come through all the time. And be consistent. Be, being consistent is the most important thing. Because I don't want to be sad in one video. I don't want to be happy in the next video. Obviously, I don't want to watch anyone be sad or, like, you know, entertaining sad. But... I don't want to see no one be sad on YouTube. I come to YouTube to escape the real world, to watch entertainment made by other people for me, aka you. But that's it for the video, guys. I just want to give you all a little update. Also, on the channel, I forgot to actually give you all the channel update. Um, I'm not just doing pops anymore. Like, I, I know I used to do a lot of pops, and I know that I got big off of pops, but I'm not doing pops anymore. Like, Obviously, you can see that I have manga. I have figures. I have Blu-rays right, be I mean, right behind the camera right here, which... I want to talk about and i got dragon ball z statues that y'all can't see well not statues with figures but i have dragon ball z figures that y'all can't see but i do want to review i want to review other type of anime collectibles on the channel i want to talk about anime like i've been doing in my weebish series if you haven't checked that out yet i want to talk more about jojo's Bizarre adventure more about dragon ball z i just don't want to stay on pops because obviously when it comes to collecting and things like that you're going to get tired of collecting you're going you're not going to want to collect all the time which I don't know. It's like one time at one point I stopped collecting pops. A lot of people don't know that. One time I stopped collecting pops, but I only stopped. Like I wasn't saying, oh, I'm quitting Funko Pop. No, I just stopped. I got bored of it. I started collecting something else. Then I got back into pops. So that's how it goes with collecting in general. You might miss something that you collect or, you you know, you might need discipline or something and stop collecting it because it costs too much money and it's not really serving you a purpose. But that's all I want to say for the channel. Just don't expect Funko Pop content anymore. Expect nerdish anime content. Also, like I said before in previous videos, don't forget to uh, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch for live anime reaction, watch parties, and reactions, like I said. And don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collection, where you could DM me and talk to me about stuff, or you can do that on Discord as well. And like I said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for getting me up to 3,000 subscribers. It's just been a wild journey since then. I've met a lot of cool people, met a, made a lot of cool friends met some people in person it's it's really weird getting recognized in person that's that's the funny thing but 
that's it for the video guys if you like this type of content if you like real talk stuff obviously y'all don't because y'all are here for toys and stuff like that but i'd say thank you guys for watching and if you're new to the channel you haven't already i usually don't talk about this type of stuff i usually do anime content things like that but this video is a little different because i did want to address that uh i did hit 3,000 subscribers and i'm very thankful for it because of you guys and without y'all i wouldn't be in the seat that i am in now literally because i'm in the seat but that's it for the video guys like i said thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace